And today I'm going to talk to you about why the force uh, on the uh, on a rubber band is equal and opposite, and how that means that the uh, work done equals uh, the force times the length and not force times the distance by which the force uh, travels. It's actually change in length. That's what matters. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, so basically, what we are trying to show is that um, the compute uh, the work done for a spring type of system, it will be integral of F times DL, where L is the change in length. And F is the force, actually axial force. Notice it is change in length, not change in, uh, not just distance travel. So this is a little bit trickier. So you got to think about it a little bit. So this is uh, length and uh, this is force, axial force. So to give you an idea, so here is a rubber band, okay? And I'm just going to let it, uh, oh yeah, here it is. So here's a rubber band. So what happens is when I pull on it, when I pull on it properly, so I'm going to hold it like this. When I pull on it, is it obvious to you that both my hands are going to do work because one of them, so if I hold it like this and I move only one hand, both my hands are exerting force but only one of them is moving. So it's easier for you to see it's force times uh, the distance by which this force moved, which is equal to the change in length. Should, is that obvious to you? See, that's the change in length of the system. So force times the change in length, and actually I have to integrate because the force changes as I pull. So it's low force, higher, 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 higher. So I got to account for the changes in force. So that's why it's an integral and not just force times change in length, okay? Now, what happens if I pull both of them together now you can see that this side force is moving uh, away from to the left, and this side force is moving to the right, and I have to account for both. And so it will be force times change in length of the uh, of the system again. So remember that uh, because we are ignoring the mass of this thing, force on this hand and force on this hand are exactly the equal and opposite. So as long as I move them in opposite directions, I have to account for both of them. Okay, now, if I have one of these things and I just want to move it around without changing its length, I don't have to apply any force. I want to move it around like that. So even if I do like that and I move it around, whatever for work I'm doing in one hand, I will get back in the other because you know they will both move by the same distances, but the forces are equal and opposite. I will draw it for you and show you, but you should understand that number one item, forces are axial and equal and opposite. And that comes from the fact that we ignored inertia of the uh, of the uh, of the rubber band. Okay. Second is because of that, work done by this force, work done by this force equals the force on one of the hands times the change in length of the rubber band. And if I just move the rubber band around without changing its length, even though individually each force does work together, they will not do any work because whatever I do with one hand is is canceled by the other hand because I'm not changing the length, okay? So this is a very critical idea, so you should get this. So let me draw it and show you. So initial length is like this. Okay, now I start applying a force. So when I apply a force, maybe the length becomes this much. So the two forces are the same. The distance by which move, this mode is D1 and the distance by which this mode is D2. So the total work done roughly is approximately F, uh, sorry, uh, let's call this D1 and D2. Is F2 D, F2 D2 plus F1 D1. But F1 equal to F2. That means W equal to F times D2 plus D1, that is change in length. Notice that this force and this force have to be equal. And so the 
So stare at this for a second and you will realize the signs and everything. So everything is accounted for in this. By the way, this is only an approximation. The exact result is integral of F2 D, uh, D2 plus integral F1 D, D1 and it will give me the same answer because F2 equal to F1. Okay, so please remember when we have to compute work done by forces, we have to integrate. That is, we are not doing just by multiplying force and distance. That is only true if the force is constant. Okay, so this is very, very important. It will get us an idea of why it is changing. Thank you very much.